Die opeens appeerde toen wij het gebouw uitliepen de vorige aflevering met een puzzel. Die gaan we even helpen met deze puzzel op te lossen. Want wij zijn smarty pants zoals jullie, know, zoals jullie knowen. Zoals jullie weten. Funny fractions. Oké. Okay. The professor has written a sum on the board. The writing on the left expresses a fraction on the right. Oké. Okay. In that case, what number should go in the empty space? At the bottom right. Oh, hier staat 100 op 0 en hier staat 10 op 0. Dat is 1 tiende. Is het zo makkelijk als dat het 1 is? Do it, I think. Oh, that's not like me. Yeah. Even kijken. The writing on the left is not a fraction. Oh. Oh. Het is dan 10.010 en 1010. Als 10.010 een 1 tiende is, dat is 1010. Is dat een eenhonderdste? This should do it, I think. Ja. Puzzles are made for solving. Oh, het is een procent. Het is een percentage. Het is een honderd slash nul. Tien slash nul. Oh mijn god. Ik ben een smarty pants. Oké. Okay. Thank you, that's marvelous. My little angel will be so pleased. I'm happy I could be of assistance to you, Dean Dalmona. You don't look your usual cheerful self, Catriel. Is something on your mind? You're a very perceptive, Dean. Actually, I'm a little stumped myself. I'm working on a very difficult case. Well, perhaps I can help. Why don't you tell me all about it? Okay. Nah. I see. But listen carefully, Catriel. Presents are all well and good, but they're not the be all and end all. Haven't you ever heard of the expression, it's the thought that counts? Don't give up. Well, I don't want to, but this is certainly isn't easy. Showing appreciation. Okay. Waar fietsen we naartoe? Naar Chancellor Lane. Bling bling. How strange. What is it, pinstripes? I just, uh, it just feels different here somehow, even though nothing actually appears to have changed. Don't you think so? Aha, it's because there aren't any people about. That's it. Yes, it's qu you're quite right. The street's totally deserted. Nothing happening on Chancellor Lane. That's unheard of. 
Perhaps it's because we talked to everyone here before, perhaps that made them disappear. What? That can happen, can it? Yeah, no, Ernest, I was only joking. There uh, has to be some uh, someone about. Let's head up the street to the office. I'm uh, sure we'll find some signs of life there. Okay. There's no one around here either. Wait a minute, over there, look, there's someone. The last man standing on Chancellor Lane. I wonder why there are so few people about uh, around. Um, perhaps we should ask the man over there. Matt Puzzle. Excuse me, sir. Uh, would you happen to know um, why there's nobody about? <laughs> the answer is simple. It has to do with the special day that it is today. Today? Well, it's Gogwin's day. Yes, indeed. The day of rest of all London's inhabitants. Everyone must be home soon, safe in their houses. The children out at the playing bank inside. Oh, oh the children out at play back inside. Okay. Everything still, like this. Okay. Child's play. The children playing at the park have all gone home. Move one of the matches to spell out the reason why they went home. Um, you can move the matches by sliding them. Okay. Is it all dark? Mm, this should do it, I think. Any mystery or any puzzle Good. solved. Uh, I'm glad you solved that in time. It seems you haven't, uh, aren't aware of all the traditions of Gudrun's day. All the traditions? This is the day of rest, a day no work is to be done. Uh, but it's uh, not all that this day dictates. Whenever fun thou hast by day, come even tight, go home to play. Okay, that's the old adage of Godwin's day you mustn't forget look around you others haven't forgotten have they be gone home with you um, lest you break an important tradition come even tight go home to play I would never heard that in my, uh, uh, that little rhyme before so at the end of Godwin's day everyone is at home that's it I've got it Gewoon alleen maar quality time, dat is het enige wat ze wil. Zij maakt het verschil, Pokémon. Uh, we spelen geen Pokémon, sorry. This present mystery is history. I'll explain everything later, Cheryl. For now, I need you and Ernest to do something for me. Anything you say, miss. Anything at all. Thank you. Listen carefully. Um, and do exactly what I say. What are you going to do, Miss Layton? I'm going to uh, fetch the inspector. Not at all, it's just about to start. The present I have in mind will only work after dark. Anyway, never mind for that now. Just follow these instructions, please. It looks so pretty. And Philippi. Nice, isn't it, love? Not so many lights tonight. I suppose most people are asleep. We haven't come here for donkey's ears, have we? No. Uh. Huh? <laughs> what? Oh, did you, did you do that for me? Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> And to think I was annoyed with you for not getting me a present this year. Honestly, you. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. Cat, I don't know how to repay you. You really saved my bacon. 
Just look at all those lights, eh? Blimey. <laughs> Actually, it's thanks to you that so many people agreed to turn on their lights like that tonight. Thanks to me? In order to spell out the words, we delivered notes to 186 separate households. This is what I wrote. We are asking you to turn on all your lights when it gets dark at the end of the bank holiday. You'll be helping to deliver a message for one of London's most faithful servants, Inspector Hastings, CID. You what? Everyone who turned on their lights tonight did so as an expression of gratitude to you, Inspector. For all your hard work and devotion to your job, for keeping us all safe. Well, I don't know what to say. Thank you, London. And thank... Um, let's not... <laughs> nice. Weer een case geclosed. Nog drie cases te gaan. Ah, a little thank. Oh, what's this? One of my little lemons homemade cakes for you to say thanks for the other day. Enjoy. <laughs> Gosh, that does look good. Oh wait, he's written more on the back. It's our wedding anniversary coming up, so oh. you might want to get thinking about that. <laughs> Boy, yeah. huh, who does he think I am? Catriel Layton, private detective and party planner. Mm -hmm, lol. And so Inspector Hastings celebrated his wife's birthday with her in style. The Battle of Hastings was won, and not a single eye lost. But next time, Inspector, plan your own parties, or you'll get one of the eye from me. Ja hoor, we willen de progress wel even zeven. Case 10. The importance of being earnest. Okay, Ernest is having a very bad day. He has implicated a serious crime on his first day at Cr at Crescent Helen University. Okay. Hello, Cheryl. Oh, there you are, Pinstripes. I was beginning to wonder what have happened to you. Miss Layton asked me to stop off on my way uh, in and buy some things for her. Tea, of course, and fashion magazine and snack for later on today. Being a dog's body again? Isn't Miss Layton here yet herself? Um, she's out, uh, she's gone out already. Um, said she'd be back late. Oh, what a pity. She left a message for you though. Um, do you want to hear it? Of course, gosh, this sounds awfully important. My palms are getting to sweat. Alright then, if you're sure you're ready. Um, Ernest, while I'm gone, uh, while I'm gone, tidy up. What? Is that it? Afraid so. Not quite what you were expecting, eh? I feel your pain. Oh no, it's quite alright. I had a suspicion I'm, uh, it might say that. So where shall I start, I wonder? It's rough being the underdog, eh? Having to tidy up after your boss because she's so terrible at it. Well, the last part may be true. And mini mini. What is it? What are you doing? Why uh, do you work here at uh, as Cat's assistant? No, she doesn't. I work here because I owe Miss Layton a debt of gratitude. Uh, it must be a big one. What happened? It was when I met her for the first time. I'm listening. I was being investigated by Scotland Yard. Investigated? You? Come on, you, uh, do you think I was turned into a duck yesterday? The importance of being earnest. I'm back in timing. Inspector Hastings had summoned me to his office. 
uh, there'd been a theft, you see, and I was the prime suspect. Ernest Greaves, you did it, didn't you? It? It wasn't me. I'm innocent, Inspector, I swear. Don't give me that sunshine. Um, I know it was you who broke into Dr. Ohm's laboratory and nicked the research papers. I admit it. Broke into? No, no, I didn't. Uh, there's been some terrible misunderstanding. So you're gonna uh, still deny it? Are you? Uh, there are witnesses, you know. You were seen sneaking in there. What more evidence do you think I need to put you away, eh? Some clean sunshine or things are gonna get ugly. But, but I've only just started at Grasen Heller University. Why would I fr uh, a fresher like me? Oh, Grasen Heller in a university? Ooh, Philippi. What do, you, uh, what do you think you're doing, barging in here uh, while I'm interviewing a suspect? I can't believe you brought this poor man here to Scotland Yard. You what? You can't accuse people without carrying a proper investigation first. It's an, it sounds like the only evidence you have is circumstantial. Uh, that, uh, that he was at the scene. Uh, who are you, you cheeky little so-and-so? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm Catriel, Catriel Layton. Well, I don't care if you're the queen, so she, queen of Sherba. Okay. Um, you don't come down here and start uh, interfering in police business. Uh, if you've got a complaint about the way we do things, you follow proper pr procedure and uh, solve this puzzle. Okay. Dat doen we wel. Wij zijn niet een moeilijk. Wij doen wel even puzzels uh, solven. Cut for speeding. Okay. There's a line of five cars driving along uh, the road and they're all breaking the speed limit. Who durven ze? Wat een vuile bitta's. The next day, the five drivers go to the police station, but only four of them are charged with speeding. Which car was the one that was being driven by the person who was not charged? Ik denk dat de politie in de laatste kaart zat. Dit is een interessante one. Puzzles are made for something. Degene die zag dat ze aan het speeden waren. Ja, zie je? Smarty pants. You cracked it? Well, that's a turn up for the books. Any puzzle solved, that's my motto. Unlike Scotland Yards, which seems to be any blame as absolved so it's. Inspector Hastings, sorry to barge in, but it's nearly time. Oh yes, of course, I've got an uh, appointment at Grassenhaller. Thanks for reminding me, Constable. Right, Greaves, uh, it looks like you're off the hook for now. But you're still at the top of my list, sunshine. And as soon as I get more evidence... Oh no, please. Come on then, PC Beat. Uh, let's get over to the university. Yes, sir. Huh, uh, how can I uh, make him believe me? I didn't do it. Well, they've gone now and they said you're free to go. So why don't we get out here? Oh, well, mm, unless you would like to stay. Oh, golly, no. Then I suggest we uh, leave now before the inspector comes back. Yes. And that's how we were thrust together. Okay. Uh, how the heavens conspired to make us meet. Okay. She was like a goddess of destiny in my eyes then. Uh, 
Um, thank you for helping me before, I mean. Uh, I'm Ernest, Ernest Greaves. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Ernest. The pleasure is uh, all mine, Miss Layton. I must say, uh, it's golly good of you to believe me that I'm not the thief, I mean. Oh no, I just couldn't abide that loudmouthed inspector's sloppy detective work, that's all. Ah, I wouldn't like to uh, say if you did it or not. But, but I didn't do it. It's in that uh, it's that case about the stolen research paper, isn't it? From the professor at Gresson Heller University. Yes, that's right. Somehow it's I seem to be a suspect. But you didn't do it, honestly. No, honestly, I didn't. Uh, please, you have to believe me. Well, Ernest, if that's your real name, well, you don't look uh, like a thief or sort of person who tried to deceive others. I'm not, I really haven't done anything wrong. So you're a student at university, are you? Yes, I've only just enrolled though, uh, but somehow I've already managed to get myself in an awful fix. I always seem to have the most dastardly luck, okay. Uh, only this morning I fell down the drain in the street uh, and got bitten by a dog. I see, a walking calamity you would say. Yes. Well, uh, your luck may have changed. I intended to go to Gresson Heller today anyway. Uh, if you come along with me, I can do what I was planning there and prove your innocence and present. Okay. Oui, en passant. Oh, I'm sorry. Unless you'd rather I don't interfere. Oh no, please. I'm, uh, I mean, please do interfere. Um, that is, if you really think you can prove it. Of course. Right then. Let's go. Now. Yes, yes, all right then. Okay. Na, 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 na. Oh, sorry. Hmm, what's the best way to the university from here? Oh, I can show you. Just follow me. Uh, I say, uh, will this be the first? Will this be your first time to visit uh, Rassenhallen, Miss Layton? No, I used to go there quite often as a child, but it's been rather a long time, and I haven't been from here before. Okay. I'm not sure uh, what is the best. What the best way is really? Well, don't worry. Um, we'll be there in a jiffy. Dat is namelijk volgende aflevering. Bedankt voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vond je het een leuke aflevering? Doe een duimpje omhoog. Zie je graag de volgende keer weer. Adios, amigos.